how's it guys welcome to my channel my name is kelly and i'm glad that you were here thank you for stopping by uh, today i would like to share a new pen um, that i got from pen sachet and this is they put in these freebies stickers which I think are super cute. So, have that. And before I show you the pen, I did buy some actual cartridges. Um, and I don't usually write with cartridges, but did it anyway. So, I got everything on October the 30th, 2020. <laughs> so, um, almost a year ago. And I bought the Sailor Slim Cartridge Ink in black. And this is the package. So... You get how many? I don't know what that is. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. This is what they look like. And these. I think will eventually come in handy. And then I also got the Sailor Shikiori ink cartridges, five color set called Winter. So they come in these plastic containers and you get three of each ink. They all look the same, but they're not. Oh, well, this one looks blue. And this one looks like some sort of a red. So there's that. And then, also... I bought a converter in gold, as you can see. Okay. And then the actual pen came with two cartridges. And then we have all of the info. And are you ready after that long build-up to see what I got? Ta-da! Look at that. Comes in a nice little box. So, this is another very mini pen. No surprise there. Sailor, this is called the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini Morocco Zion Pink, and I got the medium fine nib. It's very pretty. Um, it's like a very muted pink. I like it. 
It's very neutral, very subtle. Let's see how many twists. One, two. Yeah, that's it. One and a quarter, actually. And it has gold hardware. I like it. This is so cute. It does post as you like. Um, the nib is gold plated, I imagine, not gold. Um, and like I said, this is a medium fine. So I thought we would do a little thing and pick a color together. Well, I'm not live, but anyway, I'm going to put these three inks, ink bottles that I have in my collection out. This is Airbin in Rose Tenderies. This is Robert Oster, and this is Rose Gilt Tint Shake and Shimmy. Get that. And then I have Pulled Diamine Mold Wine. And there it is on top. I've already swatched all of these ink colors, but I thought it would be fun to pick a color together. So, I have my paper. Just ignore that. That's from the previous video. One of the previous videos. So, let's see. I actually... I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and let's see which one best suits this pen. <laughs> Look, I only put a teeny weeny little bit on here because I only have a very small bottle and I don't want to waste it. Okay. So that's Rose Tenderies. And look at that. I mean, wow. Beautiful. We may have a winner right here. And speaking of Australia, <laughs> did you guys watch that swimming? between that in particular that one heat um between um titmus and ledecky and titmus actually took her she actually beat her she's a, that australian swimmer and ledecky is a really good swimmer from the u.s but titmus took her out and then the coach went buck wild <laughs> that was a sight to see Because I think Robert Oster is Australian. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really keep up with that kind of thing, but. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. That's so pretty. I always forget, you know. So many inks, so little time. And then, this is the Mold Wine by Diamine. So let's see what we have here. Okay. And then this is how it dries, actually. Like that. Which is quite unusual because... Uh-oh, you can't see. Sorry. There you go. That's better. So... 
You see how that ink lid dries? I mean, on this lid like that, it would be a good match, right? But this looks much darker. But this one, I think, and then this one is too, a little bit too pinky. I think this Robert, Robert Oster one, the rose gilt tint is a winner. I think that's a good, good match if you want to match the pen colors and the ink, the pen color and the ink together. I think that's, I think that's the winner. Which one would you guys pick? If you care to share, please drop a comment down below and let me know. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. It's so beautiful. I can't resist. Okay. So let's fill this up. Get myself situated here again. Wow. So pretty. I'm going to shake it. Vigorously. Okay. And then I will log it in my log book and I'll speed that part up. But this is a really pretty pen. I'm very glad I got it. And I got this color because they have a quite a few to choose from in this line. So. Et voila. So this, I put it in there. This is the mini one, okay? Because when I initially bought this, I bought the gold converter, and it's too long for the pen, which I didn't realize. So I think I believe I went on cult pens and got this mini one because it just didn't fit. So you have to keep that in mind when you get it, if you choose to. All right. In the drink she goes, as it were. And these bottles are tall and slim, so you want to be careful. Just do it a few times. And I've washed every, my pen and everything. Oh my goodness gracious me. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? It came right off. <gasps> I'm going to have to get tweezers, I think. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I think I have tweezers right here somewhere handy. Let's just see. And I've rearranged my desk. those tweezers. Um, let me see. I know I have more tweezers over here. In my tool kit. Okay, here's some. Good grief, Charlie Brown, as it were. Lord. Because the whole pen bottom is down there. That's a first. Okay, I got that part. And now... I guess it just came right out of there. 
You see it? Oh. Good grief. I have a wipe over here. A washcloth. And we're going to try it again. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen, right? But I certainly did not expect that at all. Okay, roll with the punches. Keep on going. Now, where's the other piece? Look at that. I hope... What on earth? Okay, we're going to see what's up with that. Why did that come out? This is brand new. I have never used it. <laughs> That's weird. Yes. Yeah, you see that? When I go like that, it comes off the treads. Oh my goodness. Okay. But we're still going to do it. Because that's what we're, my plan is. And let's see if we can salvage this converter. Because it wasn't inexpensive. And I don't, they're not supposed to do that. That I know of. Maybe someone who is some sort of an expert in pens. Fountain pens can tell me. But I did not expect that. No, I didn't. Has that ever happened to you guys? Hm. Okay. Guess I sh I know, I realize I'm not in the camera, but you can see I have a wipe here. And just trying to clean it all off and get my act together here, if you know what I mean. So, that way we can actually fill it up. All right. So, it happened like that. All right, so let me uh, get rid of that. And then move this. Okay, so I got it all together and I was playing around with it. This mini converter, the silver part can come off. Okay? And if that's off, this is off. And this has a little lip to prevent it from coming all the way off. So that's what the deal is. Okay? And that part obviously wasn't screwed in all the way this part and then you just stick it in like that and then tighten it so now it's tight so now this you can go up and down and it won't come this little black part won't come off because it like i said that has a lip okay so we solved that problem I just never used a mini converter sailor before. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get sometimes. But that's how you learn, so. No harm, no foul. I just, I'm just glad it wasn't broken. Because that was 
my concern. Uh, you know what I mean? So. There we go. Now we have some ink in there. Yay. I wonder if this mini converter would fit in the lily pit. I'll have to try that once I'm finished with all these ink. With all the, the, the ink in these two different pens. The lily pit as well as this one. And I'll try it. Because the mini Kaveco, I had it full. And it was too... I think it was too full because then the plunger comes out on that kind. Um, it sticks out further and I had to expel a lot of the ink out. But I'll try this one too and see if it will work. Okay. That, that was a little... Diddy, wasn't it? Alright, so now, fun stuff begins. So, what I will do is I'll fast forward this part. It's the next coming up part. And write it in my log books. I love this size. And then I'll come back at the end and then we can have a, a little chat about the pen. Enjoy!
Okay, you guys. So first up, I have the Witch Term 1917. Um, this ink is not very saturated on this paper. And it is a um, medium fine nib. So you don't need to press very hard. I have the tendency... There you go. To press harder when it's not very dark or saturated ink and you just simply don't need to do that so I'm sh here it is no that's opal pink i have it in my that's opal pink again because i i redid my log i had first done it on this is a little sidebar but i had first done it on back in the front and the back and that just didn't work so I redid it all. So let's find the swatch that I previously had done. Oh here it is right here. Robert Oster Shake and Shimmy Rose Gilt Tint. Ouch, I bumped my elbow. Look how pretty that is. It's so, so pretty. This one. Love it. I think it's a good match for this pen. Oh, so I'm glad I chose that ink. And that is my Taroka Shop. Here is the other Taroka shop for my fountain pens. Have it. And then last but not least is my favorite Tomoe River paper in my Hobonichi notebook. Very lovely. And I don't see any of the shimmy in it, the shimmer. But again, this settles at the bottom. As you can see already, it's settled. So you might have to, you know, twist your pen around and things like that. And then again, since I had that conundrum with the um, converter that I didn't anticipate, um, I obviously I didn't shake it up again, so I might not have gotten much in the filling. But you can definitely see it on this. This is a Rhodia pad, Rhodia dot pad number sixteen. But you can definitely see the shimmer, shimmy, as it were, right there on this paper. It's definitely in it. It's so pretty. I wrote on posted. Um you want to do a, a, let's see, a pangram? Let's do it. Haven't done a pangram in a long time. You can really write small with this pen, also. Let's come in closer. Right there. Let's 
so. Small rating. And sometimes that fits the bill. You know, sometimes you don't want to be verbose with your writing and you have a tiny little spot that you want to write in and this would be perfect for that because it's so fine. It's the, it is the medium fine nib. I like it. I especially like this color with the gold hardware. Well, that is my share for this video. If you guys have one of these um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini fountain pens, which, which one did you guys pick? I'm going to put it like that. Which pen did you pick? Did you get this one too? Or did you get one of the other colors? If you care to share, I would love to know. Leave it in the comments below. And that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned from my mistake with that mini converter. Because it's all a learning process. And that's part of the fun in it, I think. So, all right. Bye. Peace out.